There's a really big link between uh, Students on Ice and the museum. The museum really has two roles. One is research and the other is public education. And uh, Students on Ice allows us to achieve both goals. I get the chance to go to places like here that we never even thought we would stop at and of course I would probably never have arrived here had it not been for Students on Ice. And at the same time in the public ed education role, well, I get the chance not only to converse with my colleagues that are here that work on things like geology and so on, but to share my passion with the students and hopefully, as I said, educate them more about the plants and maybe they'll become botanists someday. C'est sûr que d'être ici dans l'Arctique, euh, ça me permet de voir sur le terrain euh, beaucoup de choses qu'on représente euh, au biodôme et dont on parle beaucoup aux visiteurs, aux groupes scolaires. Euh, ici, sur place, on voit les animaux, l'écosystème euh, en entier, avec euh, des experts aussi qui nous donnent beaucoup, beaucoup d'informations sur, euh, sur l'Arctique et aussi sur les problèmes de l'Arctique, les changements climatiques, euh, l'impact que ça peut avoir sur la faune, sur la culture inuit, euh, toutes les perturbations que ça cause dans leur environnement. Donc c'est très riche d'informations euh, depuis en tout cas, le début de, de l'expédition avec Stony Sonnet, que je vais rapporter euh, au Biodôme pour euh, alimenter l'équipe et, et euh, informer les visiteurs. In Manitoba, we do have Arctic regions. We have Churchill and uh, the whole Hudson Bay Coast uh, up in the northern areas. Uh, it's very important to us. Uh, it's a very important region to us. Uh, yet uh, the changes that are going on are so rapid and so drastic uh, that we just can't keep up. And I hope that I can come back uh, home and uh, develop some programming and uh, bring forth some suggestions that will help uh, expand our knowledge about that area and uh, make sure that we know what's going on so that uh, the future can uh, look a little brighter with it. Uh, I got to see it firsthand, which is an incredibly valuable experience to be able to take back that firsthand knowledge uh, to the museum and so when I'm talking to visitors and interpreting I can say that you know my own personal experiences rather than things that I've read in a book kind of. The students here um, they've had the experience of the opportunity to speak with the experts on this trip to to be out we actually stood on the ice and actually experience um, the Arctic, to see the icebergs, to see, I mean, we had a, got to see a polar bear feeding on a seal, and to take that, uh, those uh, experiences back with them, and that knowledge, and take them back home and share with their friends, their families, their communities, and share the importance of protecting um, areas like the Arctic that seem so far away, uh, to people in areas of the world that, you know, why why would the Arctic matter? It's a place, um, you know, I'm not, most people don't even get to visit, so, but to bring that, um, that back with them is, is special. I think Students on Ice is a fantastic uh, concept and a great program. Uh, yeah, I will admit I didn't know too much about it before I uh, got involved uh, last year, but uh, ever since then uh, I've been uh, so positive about it and uh, as the, the cliche goes, I've got ice in my veins. I'm coming back if I can, if they'll have me, because uh, it's such a great program. <laughs>